I'm Sherry. Welcome to my channel. I'm a homeschooling mom of two little girls. Today we're going to talk about morning baskets, what they are, why we are morning basket dropouts, and what we use instead in the mornings. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like homeschool content or kid crafts. Let's get started. So what is a morning basket? A morning basket is a basket. <laughs> so it's a basket that most people load with all sorts of goodies for, for kids to do. Some people use it just as a way to get them going in the morning. Some people use it as a way to entertain one child while they are teaching the other. You can put all sorts of stuff in here. So one thing that most of them have is one of these little guys. So this is a menu holder. So you can put their name and you can put activities and they can do them with a dry erase marker. They put little workbooks that they can do on their own. You could put little lacing cards for younger kids. I have some of these phonics cards that I put in there. You could put something like sticker by numbers. You could put coloring books, flashcards, anything you want, really simple puzzles. Usually they're at least somewhat educational. This is part of the reason it did not work for my kids. They quickly realized that these items in here were educational <laughs> and they were on to my game because I sort of wanted to use ours as something to do when they were bored and they needed an activity. They did really like these at first, but they only wanted to do the activity once, maybe twice, and then they were done. So the reason we stopped doing these was it was just a lot of work. I was having to erase these or find new activities constantly, worry about changing out the activities because they would complain that it was the same stuff. And honestly, they can just go get a sticker by number book or a coloring book for themselves. We have plenty of activities around the house. I didn't feel like I needed a basket to direct them to, to go find those things. So our baskets now just hold toys. <laughs> Generally, I had to dump our magnetiles out of this one. Now, some people do put like their read aloud books and items like that. And there are things that they're going to do together in the morning that does give you a, a place to find them every day. So we do still do something similar to that. We just keep ours on a bookshelf. So the thing we used last year that we're gonna keep using is this word of the day book. So I like it because there are, there are dates, but it's not linked to a year. So we obviously don't get to it every day. And these are not words my kids are gonna memorize but it's great for vocabulary building just because they're just hearing these words and we go over them and we might go through it. We'll be able to use it for a few years. They're gonna hear them over and over again. And it has nice pictures. So we really like this. It takes us just a couple minutes in the morning. Sometimes I will even like read the words while they're getting their shoes on. It's something quick and easy that we can do to just kind of get us started. And then I also picked up this book that I have two girls, so we're gonna use this also as part of our little morning routine. So each page in here, well, that's a timeline one, but each page features a famous female. So it's just short, digestible. Again, I love the bright colors. Kids are always more interested in looking at something. If it's bright, my kids love pictures. And so they have just all sorts of famous ladies so that we can uh, get a little inspired before we start our day. So that's what we're doing instead of having a morning basket. But you can check on YouTube. There are lots of morning basket videos full of all sorts of ideas of things to put in baskets. And some families love them. It just wasn't a great fit for us. 